host, Eric here. Figured I'd uh, start the show off by giving a bit of a tour of the floor layout. So, I guess we'll start over here. Just Dance 3. DC. Pony Press. Assassin's Creed Revelations, which I am heavily looking forward to. Dark Horse booth. Phew. What is over here? I'm going to get distracted easily on this tour. Eh. But that's why this thing can record over four hours. I don't know what that is. Disney. I don't know what that is. Ooh, Neil Adams. And a really cool looking car. Hmm. I love how I'm not doing commentary at all. I gotta get used to talking to myself while we're recording this thing. Show floor is huge. Ooh, Capcom booth. You love how much I'm talking to myself and I'm not really saying shit? That's just how awesome I am. Anyways, let's continue on the tour. More of the Capcom booth. Transformers, Fall of Cybertron. What is that? Ooh! I don't know if you guys just saw that, but I'll bring you over to that right now. Yep, we're definitely going over there. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. I'll keep the camera on myself for a couple minutes because that's how I roll. Yeah, I'm really freaking awkward at moments. You guys know that. I don't want to be doing this if I wasn't awkward. Anyways. Haha! -ha. Avengers booth. Ooh! Captain America's costume. There's a shield agent. Marvel Digital Comics. Random people still setting up the booth. Deadpool will pay a visit to the Marvel booth, I promise. GoldenEye, Reloaded. Entertainment Earth. They make the really cool Venture Brothers... Venture Brothers uh, action figures that are Mego-like. Um, I don't know. This is the worst tour ever. Have I mentioned how much I suck at running commentary? Because I suck at running commentary. Previews. That's just awesome. I cannot wait to get my Deadpool core figures uh, later on in the weekend. Because I'm going to. Because that's where they are. Um, legendary. Oh, they do... I know what games they do. No one, no one correct me in the comments. I'll correct myself in the comments. Ooh, pretty. I'm just gonna speed up the times so that I'm not talking, because I gotta get used to doing this more and more and more. Death X Human Revolution! Woo! Whoa! Hello, Optimus! Didn't I see you a couple hours ago? Check my f Twitter feed for that joke, because no one's gonna understand it. More Transformers stuff. I like the Transformers booth. What? What? Stormtrooper, what? Stormtrooper. And Vader. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that or not, because I don't, I don't know how well the zoom will work on this. Let me see. That would be a gem booth with gem merchandise, because everybody loves gem. Ooh, Spidey. Hmm. 
Let us go over this way. Knights of the Old Republic. So uh, shout out to my buddy Pat, because I know he is heavily excited towards that. So uh, shout out to Pat. Ooh, evil, dark Jedi in there. Uh, hmm. More versions of Optimus Prime. Uh, Bumblebee. I go see what's over here. This will be one of the points in speeding up. Star Wars Hallmark. Closing. to the Old Republic. Hey, the Connect booth. Still bums me out that Michaela wasn't able to come. That would have been fun. Just to say hi, I'm sure she would have been working at the Connect booth, but still. Let's see, what else do we have over here? 360 controllers. For... I don't know. MC Toys. Skullgirls. Looks like a fighting game. Star Trek. Hmm. Threadless! Nice. Threadless is an awesome t-shirt place. I want one! Awesome. Awesome! I'll repeat, I am the worst on running commentary to speed up these parts of the video so, so much, but once again, the show for room floor tour, so... I have no idea. <laughs> Discotech. I have to say it like that every time. Ooh, pretty. Swords. Yes. I'm pretty sure I'm in the anime section right now. I don't know what it would ever possibly give me that idea that I'm in the anime section right now. No idea whatsoever which would give me that idea. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright. Cult yard. What the hell is a cult yard? Eh, I guess I'll find out in a minute. We're going that way. But, going this way first. Ink box. Have I mentioned how big? The floor is huge. Huge. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys exactly where the comic related table is because it's gonna take a while to get to there. This will be 15, 20 minutes of walking and sped up until about probably like 5 minutes, 10 minutes of video. So uh, enjoy that when I do that. And I'm not even looking at the camera as I talk. That is terrible, terrible etiquette on my part. Cat ears? Hmm, <laughs> cool. Stuffed sushi. I don't get it. More swords? Awesome. But that's okay. But the thing is, even more swords. Alright. Still don't know where the hell I am. This is aisle four hundred. Oh, it actually did. So I'm making my way backwards apparently. 
So there's that. I need a partner in crime for these videos, otherwise they're gonna get really boring really fast. Uh, ooh, more awesome t-shirts. Uh, Entertainment Earth, which we already went by. I feel like we've already gone through this area, so we're gonna go to 300. Some places aren't set up yet, because I just walked by the Suicide Girls booth and it's not set up yet. This is Thursday, which is preview night. That's why, uh, yeah. Thursday, which is preview night, which is four to seven for people who aren't press and retailers and people setting up right now. So that's half of the reason it looks the way it does right now, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do another showroom floor tour towards the end. Pigfish, that sounds fun. Johnny Cupcakes. Huh. Street comic? I don't know what any of these places are. That's good. Super 7. Huh. Oh yeah. I am at... I'm in aisle number 700. That is the Marvel booth you are seeing. We're at 11 minutes on this video, by the way. Once again, this will be probably cut down to 10 minutes once I get to it. We'll see. Fugitive toys. Kid robot stuff. Woo! I love kid robot. Dunnies. Or monies, actually. Uh, did I go down this way? I think we already went down this way. Yeah, we're gonna go over here. Still aisle 700. You know, wouldn't this be 600? Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about still. Cool. Hmm. There's construction all around me right now. It's kind of chaotic, yet awesome. New gen, whatever your new gen is. I don't know, someone in the comments tell me if they know what new gen is, because I don't. Hmm. Walking by random people I should get on camera, but I'm not going to. We're going to Artist... We're going into Artist Alley in a second. Nah, we're not. Still don't know what the culture is, so... No idea. Alright, what do we got? Scott Eater Original Art. Running commentary is exciting. Aisle 1000. Huh. Seems to be an area devoted to art, which is kind of cool. Hero initiative. Woo! Prism comics. Very cool. Xenoscope. If I just said that right. I... I just got here myself, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, as I've mentioned several times already. I'm just... going. Pantheon graphics. Random House is not set up yet. We already went by... I see Racco Raccoon City over there. Let me see if I can zoom. I don't feel like walking over there. Yep. Raccoon City. Awesome.
Sky Force. Did I go down here yet? This is aisle number 1100. I don't think I went down here yet. So, get your geek on. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, Penguin. Penguin publishes the uh, Dresden Files, which is obviously my favorite book series, so there's that. Ooh, I see the Simon Pegg biography and I'm not even finished reading it yet. Um, anyways. Graffiti Designs, still in aisle number 1100. Collectors Universe Inc. Comic Book Legal Defense Fund, yay! More original art. Eat out, no idea. More original art. Oh, DC Boost. I see a Princess Bride painting. Nice. This is the worst show floor tour ever. I don't know what I'm doing. Cap Shield. I want it. Someone take that for me. Someone give me the money to get it. 1200. Vertigo DC. Arkham City Batman. Oh. Very cool. Huh. I like how half of the show floor is going to be silent because I stink. I might just have to like make fun of myself for the next 20 minutes because people love listening to me make fun of myself. They really don't. I'm so mean to myself. Um, plushies. Lots and lots of plushies. Bottom of my camera is kind of blurry, which is kind of odd. I'll try to fix it by the end of the weekend. Go down by the DC booth because there's nothing over here. I'm gonna go back to this area, down to the DC booth. Silver Surfer? What? Random Silver Surfer statue, I think. DC booth. Constantine. Ah, bright light. Swamp Thing, The Unwritten. Sorry, I can't keep my camera as still as I thought I would. Really cool. Really cool. I see the Jeff Smith and um, Terry Moore booths. So we're gonna walk that way. How do you know it's a Jeff Smith booth? Because Razzle and Bone, hello. again, which means I'm almost looping myself. Anything with Kirkman's name on it, you will find right here. Alex Ross booth for the win. What's down here? I gotta go down here, and then we're gonna go to the one I wasn't talking at because I didn't want to interrupt them setting up at all. 
show you the evil ink booth. That's the booth I was talking about. Chris, where are you going? It looks awesome. It's bigger than last year. I think. I'll be able to tell you in a second if it's yeah, it's definitely bigger than last year's. Awesome. Alright. So I'll go say hi in a couple minutes. I just wanted to get the show room floor preview out of the way first. Wee! Archaea? Is Mike around in what? Doesn't look like he's around yet. Doesn't look like Mike's around anywhere yet via Archaea. I haven't seen Jim or Janet yet either. Uh, more of Image. Chew, Spawn, Morning Glories, Red Wing, and of course Hexlash, because Tim's freaking awesome. Um, Ubisoft. Yay! More of the Wii. The Adventures of Tintin, the game. Darn it. Turtle Beach Gaming Headset. Never heard of them. Not sure how much of this you're actually hearing. Black Eyed Peas experience again. Well, we're at 22 minutes on this thing. I am going to have a bitch of a time editing this down. Midtown Comics, which we were just at uh, about two hours ago. Um, Rockstar's booth. Uh, here, I'll walk down to Rockstar's booth. Archie Comics. Hey, look, it's Artis. Um, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, so this is Rockstar's booth, obviously. I have no idea what Tiger Bunny is. Oh. Nope, I'm wrong. This is a booth attached to Gundams, I guess. Uh, Red versus blue, hell yes. Rooster teeth. Zombie. Oh, there's the. I'm an idiot. There's the rock star booth. I could see the R. That's what was throwing me off. I get thrown off easily. Um. Tekken. Beginners LLC. I don't know what this is. Newsarama's up there. I don't feel like zooming in on Newsarama. Um, at least I could do and group of letters. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, all the way, all the way down there. <laughs> Like in the artist, in the artist alley, all the way in the back. I'm just doing like a, like a show floor thing for like YouTube. I'm gonna speed up most of it because it's already at 23 minutes. <laughs> no, 16 gigs. So I have at least like, I don't know, like eight hours I think. If I do the math right, yeah, because it's like four gigs is an. Wait, no, yeah, four gigs is an hour, so it's probably about. Yeah, it's four hours then, not eight hours, but still. I'm talking. I'm talking with Ryan so so more if, uh, For people that don't know, he's uh, he's awesome because he does uh, at least I could do gutter the gutters, and uh, obviously looking for group. <laughs> but uh, he really yeah. Just <laughs> lazy to get up. I'll edit that out for you. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably stop by a little later. If you want to do, I still have to make up for that interview two years ago that we did on the podcast when it was all hectic. Because like it was a ten-minute interview for whatever reason, I couldn't think of, I couldn't think of any characters' names. I was just. It was two years ago. Yeah. It was terrible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll be back a little later. Sounds good. I'll see you Yeah. 
what else do we have here? Um, we're not even at Artist Alley, by the way, yet. That's a whole nother thing. Top shelf. Hubert School, which is not here yet. Um, Boy Wonder the Movie. Huh. I don't know what that is. Angry Penguin is not here yet. Aw, that's disappointing. <laughs> Being Human Haven. Oh, sci fi booth. Nice. Longbow Games. Epic Proportions Art and Design. Once again, no idea. Um, looks like a vendor area all the way down here. More of a vendor area. Uh, ooh! Deadpool sweatshirt. Oh, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that wall dressed as Deadpool. Maybe. Alright, so more t-shirts, <laughs> more of a vendor's area. Vampire Cowboys Theater Company. Instant effect. Redbubble.com. I'm just reading off names of booths because I have no idea. Vanguard Productions. Avatar Publishing Company, not, not, yeah. <gasps> Tucker and Dale versus Evil, so good. I love that movie so much. Yeah. McFarlane. <laughs> Very cool. of Delight. That looks really cool. Those are really cool looking. I like those. Hmm. King's Comics. I got distracted talking to Ryan, so uh, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm talking more at least now, but still. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see what's on the screens. Harley Quinn? What? The Other Worlds of Harley Quinn. Oh, I think it's a, yeah, it's a book company. I'm an idiot. Um, Romanian con new comics? Huh. Interesting. Retcon. That's a good name for a company. Book country. Gen manga. The New York Times? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, Susan Heidi Pinup Art. Swipster. We're just going to Artist Alley right now. That's exactly what we're doing as I continue to talk to myself and probably seem insane to the people around me. But still. I'm gonna put the camera on me while I go through because there's nothing here except for dead space as you walk to Artist Alley. Because once again, we're at a half hour on this. <laughs> Probably gonna be like 45 to minutes to an hour of a show floor tour that I only meant to be at like 10 minutes. Maybe if I was faster, I wouldn't so much as, uh, as suck at these things. But still, I gotta get used to the camera. Anyways, uh, Unstoppable Comics. Cool. Devin Duro illustration, not here yet. Will Eisner, Greyhaven Comics, Fanboy Delight, Wave Blue World. Oh, yeah. Aisle 2500. I keep losing track of the aisles. Creature, the Under Birds, Comics Tribe. China something. Yeah. Oh, jeez. 
This might be the biggest area I've seen so far. It covers this whole thing. Literally. This whole area is just this one company. Insane. More Victorian type of clothing, which is cool. Game Underground. Framingham Maps? Really? I've never heard of them before and they're from Framingham. Huh. Dot com. Oh, dot com. Duo. From 30 Rock. Uh, still. Hero Villain Yeti? Next Media, NBC Universal Productions, Blue Movie, not here yet. Sweet Tarts and Willy Wonka. Look, a nerd, a giant nerd, nerd. Yes, I just made that joke, and no, I am not ashamed. Uh, ooh, the Darkness 2 booth is over there. I'll go over there in a minute, because I'm looking forward to that game. Uh, Simon & Schuster, Inc. GMC, not here. Collectibles. Hey, we're not even close to 40 minutes yet. I'm making good time over here. Someone has to be proud of me. Uh, Artist Materials. Major League Mods. Interesting. Oh god. Museum of Art and yeah, Museum of Comic Art. Kirby Museum, which is awesome. Hey look, Artist Alley. Ready? We're going into Artist Alley, and then we'll go check out the Darkness 2 booth, I promise. Alright. Let's start at the beginning and work our way over. Lots to cover. Artist Alley is that big, if you can't tell, by the way. Kind of insane. get a table at Artist Alley next year. Maybe bring, maybe me and Chad can, can talk about getting a table. Get Brant out here too, because that would be really cool. Ooh, Deadpool. Yeah, it's something I should really look into about next year to get a table, definitely. Anymore. If you don't see, I'm not. Eh, fine, I'll see then. Tony Moore. Yay! Artist Alley is bigger than it ever has been, I think. I think this might be the biggest that Artist Alley has ever been. Hey, Sarah Richard. Cool. Chris Caruso. Jorge Molina. Janet Lee. 
to hang in a bit. Greg back. Now I know where Greg is. Yes. Riley Brown. Dennis Cleiro. a good camera for being crap. Norman Lee. By the way, since I'm just randomly talking to the camera, and hopefully it's picking up every word I say, because I really don't know, and this is a vanity thing, but still, I just had to bring it up. I love when people know who the hell I am. It doesn't happen often, but people that I've interviewed in the past, when they know who I am, is beyond awesome. Tony Moore has a dip pool right there. Awesome. Adam Hughes. Sentinels. It'll look a lot busier when everybody's here. Obviously, there are people who probably aren't going to be here today, like Peter David. Um, I don't know if he's not going to be here, I'm just guessing. In fact, a lot of Artist Alley is still not here yet. Todd uh, Newman. Probably just butchered his last name. I don't know how to say it. Joe Eisman was supposed to be here, but he's not going to be, which depresses me. Darkwing Duck, yay! Tim Sale. being kind of lazy. I'm going to stop going aisle by aisle because you guys probably are bored out of your skulls once I upload this. Plus, I just really, really want to go over to the Darkness 2 booth just to show you how pretty the Darkness 2 booth is because it's pretty and looks awesome. And I just want to go over there. Excuses to go over to the Darkness 2 booth? No, I don't need those. Cobra Commander? Cobra! Huh. Okay. It's the wrong day to not wear my Deadpool costume if there's like random Cobra Commanders around. But yes, look at how pretty the Darkness 2 booth is. Oh, they even have the transfer thing because you would always go over to a... Uh... Oh my god. Awesome. Beyond awesome. I cannot wait to check out the Darkness 2 this weekend. Hopefully I can get some to game play time in. That would be fun. Gravity Lab? Hmm. One Man Star Wars Trilogy? Nice. That just sounds funny. Get me off the moon. Lots and lots of wigs. Lots and lots and lots and lots of wigs. Comic book diner. Hmm. Oh, love and capes. Sweet. Uh. Yeah. Let's go over to Artist Alley again. Just because we can. And plus, once we reach the end of the tour, he'll not because we'll be at the comic related to. Oh. Dust 
Jensen. You hear me, Jen? If I'm saying that right. I said that really quietly because I don't want to screw up his last name. He's one of my favorite artists, though. Uh, hmm. Surprising how much our artist alley is still empty. I don't know why it's surprising, it's just AIDS. We'll go down here real fast. Kind of very slowly losing steam here, so... Joe Prado. Alright. We're very, very close to the table. So... You'll know it once I introduce you to Chuck. For those who don't know Chuck, he is possibly one of my best friends on the planet. I wish I talked to him more, but his life is crazy. Hey, Jake Calibor. So awesome. Oh, without Chuck, I wouldn't be doing this. I've not seen where Temple Smith will be. Sarah Bocelli, nice. I'm kind of curious where Ben Templesmith will be because I haven't seen him yet. I am going to say hi to Tim real fast. Mike Norton. I'll show him on camera if he doesn't mind.
game center, which I don't know what the fuck it is, to be honest with you. No clue. Geek stuff, which is cool. Uh, Comic News Insider. Comic Geek Speak. Basically, it's every single one of the podcasts together under one gigantic, crazy roof. And, of course, we end our tour. Uh, none other than the comic-related table. Woo! John, quick, wave. <laughs> and that's the end yeah. of the tour. Did I get Chuck on camera? Chuck. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta check on camera.